Welcome back to Naughty Life. Today is the day you all have been waiting for. We just pulled up to our favorite flat where we tested the uh, bag of dried bait chum and we've got our freshly prepared DIY budget bait chum. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into this bait chum net and we're gonna throw it off the side of the boat and we're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer and then we'll go ahead and we'll throw that 12 foot cast net. Cut it out a little bit. There it goes. <laughs> that was much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tie this rope and then I'll uh, show you guys how we're gonna position it here to the side of the boat. So we've got the bag of chum tied to the string here. So I already did a test. We've got the current going out that way off the boat. So we're gonna try to position this bag so that we can get a really good cast net here off of the back platform of the boat. While the chum is doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and toss the sabiki rig. Now, generally, if I'm out here by myself trying to catch bait, I'm just gonna focus on throwing the dry chum and then tossing the cast net. But if I've got other people on the boat or in a situation where I don't really have to do much while that bag is sitting there in the water, we like to throw a sabiki rig. Now, for those that aren't familiar, you can buy these at Bass Pro, Walmart, any of your local bait shops and they're super easy. It's probably one of the most effective, um, and, and in my opinion, uh, the most fun ways to catch bait fish. So if you've got little kids or people that are on your boat that have uh, never really fished before or don't fish often, this is a great way to keep them entertained while you're catching other bait or uh, doing some other things, rigging and uh, whatnot around the boat. So for those that have never seen one of these before, uh, they're super easy to tie on. One side has a swivel, the other side has one of the uh, quick release clips. All you do is tie your main line to that swivel and then you put a weight on the other side depending on how much current you've got. Now once they are all tied on, you can see here, essentially all it is is about a six or eight foot piece of mono line and then every 10 or 12 inches or so it has a split off so a little split goes it's got a little fly and a little hook on it you can see that there and all this does is it sits in the current and it flutters and it attracts those bait fish now if the fish are really hungry and really active they will actually hit this fly with nothing on it but we found that we've had the most success if we tip the hooks with something so we're typically using either a small piece of frozen shrimp or a small piece of frozen squid now if you saw from the video description uh, we've got a super secret sabiki trick and what it is if you're ever fishing with any hard plastics like paddle tails as you've seen in some of our other videos uh, puffer fish, Spanish mackerel, will generally bite the tails off. Um, if you get in a lot of action, the fish will tear those plastics. Don't throw them away. Because what you can do is you can cut them up into little tiny pieces, if you can see it here, put them in a Ziploc bag, and then put some type of scent in the bag and actually use this to tip your sabikis. Now, it doesn't work as good as the, the frozen shrimp or the uh, squid, but in a bind, if you're just trying to get something to tip these hooks with to make those fish a little bit more active, you know, help you catch more bait fish and get on more bigger fish. So we've got them cut up here and you can use Procure mullet or shrimp, uh, but we've got uh, Dr. Juice from Salt Strong, the Saltwater Slam scent in here. But we're not going to use these today just because we do have the frozen shrimp and we're gonna get a little bit better results and we're a little bit pressed for time but we always keep these on the boat just in case. Uh, and that's your, your super secret sabiki tip. Let's go ahead and get these rigged up with some shrimp and hopefully get some pinfish into the live well while the bait chum is doing its thing. So all you're gonna do is take a tiny, tiny little piece of the shrimp. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put it on each of these uh, little sabiki things.
I like to throw the legs out there and a couple little freebie pieces because that helps to just draw them in. Uh, they can attack those pieces without you know getting hooked and thinking anything suspicious. So we've got this, uh, like I mentioned, we keep this sabiki rod on the boat all the time. They have some fancy ones that you can actually, uh, they're enclosed and you can actually reel this entire strand uh, of the sabiki rig into it. Uh, but this is just a cheap little $20 inshore uh, freshwater rod and reel, nothing crazy. We just wrap up the uh, the extra line around the handle and store it underneath one of the, uh, the benches. We're gonna toss this out. It shouldn't take long, especially when you're tipping uh, the hooks with some uh, fresh bait. And you know, this is just a super fun way to, oh, they're already on. <laughs> just like that, like literally two seconds and we've already got, oh my goodness. I have not, this is a first. You guys are experiencing something super awesome. This is, this is crazy. Now, I don't know if this is a little lane snapper or a mutton snapper. Y'all check this out. Look at how pretty that, oh. He's got a little spot on the back. I don't know if you can see this, here check it out. Look at how pretty that is. Look at that pink tail, I'll hold him in the light. Look at that, it's either a little lane snapper. All right, he's going back. Look at that, a little lane snapper or a baby mutton snapper, super cool. That's what's awesome about this sabiki rig. Literally could not have predicted that. We've caught mainly pinfish and uh, pigfish is what we're going after, grunts, but we've got catfish, jacks, uh, leather jackets, trout, everything pretty much eats fr uh, shrimp out here. So let's keep it going. Again, if you've got people that have never fished before, like that would be super exciting to do literally all day long. Now with the pin fish, they're very uh, good at stealing bait. So what you wanna make sure you're doing is you gotta time it right. So if, they're, if you're feeling the nibbles, you're already uh, losing the bait. So you gotta kinda let them nibble at it and then set that hook periodically just to make, oh, there's another one. Ooh, bigger fish. <laughs> Yo, this is another one. This is crazy. This is extremely unexpected. We have never caught these here. I have actually never caught one of these ever. This is bonkers right now. And I'm fairly certain, oh, he chomped this thing. Yeah, let me get my pliers. All right, so check this out. Get in the sun here. Look at this. Look at this fish. Do y'all know what this is? This looks, again, it's either a little lane or baby mutton snapper but this is such a cool little fish. The second one we caught today, insane, absolutely insane. Again, not the target species because you can't use those as bait, but um, you, know, you can actually keep those fish. They're really good eating. If it's a mutton snapper, those suckers get absolutely enormous. But hey, we're gonna put some more shrimp on this and we're gonna see what else we can catch because this is uh, already off to a great start. If you know what that fish is, obviously we're gonna look when we get back into the office I think it's a, a mutton snapper or a lane snapper. If you know what it is, comment below. Oh, already got another one. This is awesome. Another one. Look at that. That's three in a matter of minutes. This is actually hilarious because while this is awesome, I do want to try to catch some pinfish, so I might throw off the other side of the boat here in a moment. Just let that guy go. But as you can see, it's almost automatic. Eight. There we go. Eight seconds. And this is again, it feels like another better fish. I might have to turn this video into a sabiki catch all because we got a trout on here, y'all. And it's gone. It was a trout, trust me. Unbelievable. <laughs> we came out here to catch pinfish and we're catching already two different species of 
fish that you'd want to come out here and target. Let's put some more shrimp on here. This is a blast. I could do this all day long. Lots of activity though. That's always a good sign. It's pulling drag. <laughs> oh my God, I got two. All right, this is absolutely nuts. Doubled up on these mutton lane snapper, whatever the heck they are, here on the flat trying to go for pinfish. This is, this is hilarious. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna look these up right now and see what they actually are. I use an app called Fish Rules. I'll put a link down in the description. It uses your uh, GPS location to give you the most up-to-date and current regulations. They're not a sponsor. Hey, but Fish Rules, if you'd like to sponsor, we'd love to work with you. Uh, but we use them by choice. And from what I'm seeing, it's a mutton snapper. If you guys uh, know for sure, comment below, engage with us, we'd love to see it. I'm gonna throw off the other side now and try to get some pinfish so that we can have some additional bait and go after some bigger fish. Finally, oh, he pooed on me. That's hilarious. Finally, the species of, of choice. This is a little baby pinfish. I'm gonna let him go, although he would make really good mangrove snapper bait. They've got no spot and instead of having the yellow uh the pink tail they've got more of these they've got the blue and yellow lines they got the blue and yellow lines uh, on them so he's going back but that's what we're after so we just need uh, a couple of his bigger brother sisters mom and dad and we'll be in business and this is fantastic because this is all while we've got stuff chumming on the other side so this is gonna be a good good day i think <laughs> Absolute riot. Another mutton. I don't care who you are, that is fun. I don't care if you're five years old, 10 years old, 30 years old, 60 years old. This is an absolute blast. Anyone can come out here and do it. So if you don't have sabikis in your tackle box already and you're a beginner fisherman, get them. There's no harm in uh, having six potential opportunities to catch a fish and just use super light tackle, come out here, you'll have a blast all day long. Uh, I'm gonna try to find some pins. So I'm gonna throw around a couple different spots on the boat. We'll check back in when we're getting ready to throw the cast net. Finally, and check out the size of this pinfish. This is going to catch a monster snooker grouper. Oh, we got a bird in the background. Look at the size of this pinfish. He's so thick. This is what we're after. Look at that beauty. That's what we're after right there. He's gonna be uh, bait, toss him in the live well. All right, so that's the timer. We are gonna go ahead and reel this in and get the cast net thrown out and see if this DIY budget pay chum is gonna pay off. Did the budget bait chum work? We got pins. Not a whole lot, but. Sorry if you guys can't see this, just trying to get them out of the net. Oh, that's a good size one. Make sure you guys can see this. Here we got, it's like a perfect size one. Look at that. Boom, we got two. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna throw again. See if we can, uh, see if we can catch 
couple more. Not a great toss because it wasn't at my uh, chumming spot, but let's see if we uh, got lucky. There's one in there. Another one. All right, we are gonna throw one more time. We uh, have thrown twice. We're not getting a whole, we're not getting a ton, but uh, we got some. All right. So we got one more in that. We went three for three. I'll tell you what, throwing that cast net sure does take a lot out of you. Good news is, uh, is we threw it three times and we've got four baits. So uh, if you're gonna uh, ask my opinion, I think the DIY budget bait chum was a success. Um, was it a epic blackout of the live well? Absolutely not. Uh, but I think with better conditions, uh, we'd be able to uh, get some better results and results that are actually better than the, the dry chum uh, because we've got worse conditions today and it's still performed on par with uh, the dry chum in this particular spot. I also have to think that uh, as you saw with the sabiki, we caught you know four species, the trout, uh, the mutton snapper, the pinfish, the grunt. So I have to assume, I don't know for sure, but I have to assume that that was because those other fish were drawn in um, because with that, that bait chum. So all in all, uh, I'm saying this one worked. So we're gonna definitely keep it in our arsenal. We're gonna test it on some better days as well. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these baits and we're gonna move different spots. Uh, we're gonna go throw around some bridges underneath some docks and try to get on some fish. So that's gonna be in the next video. Oh, there's a fish. Good fish. Good fish. Oh yeah. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn that notification bell on so you can see uh, us using this bait to catch some bigger fish. Life short, live naughty. We're glad you're here. We'll catch you in the next one.